Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Friday, the 7th of January. Just a quick reminder that we will be having our regular um, selection of services on Sunday, 8 a.m. BCP Holy Communion at St. Mary's. That will be followed at 9.30 by our main Eucharist at St. Mary's, which will also be streamed online. And then at 11 o'clock we'll be at St. Thomas's and we'll have our Eucharist down there as well. Uh, so please do join for whichever you can. If you'll join us online, it'll be at 9.30 and we look forward to seeing you either in person or digitally. But as we come together this morning, let us pray for one another and let us give thanks to God. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign King, sovereign God, King of the nations, to be praised and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, Anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Save, serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, the day lies open before us. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for all this morning is Psalm 99. The Lord is King, let the people tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion, and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King, who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who, you call, upon, who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. He answered them, O Lord our God, you were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our second psalm for this morning is part of Psalm 147, verses 1 to 12. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. Alleluia, how good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted, and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars, and calls all by their names. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre, who covers the heaven with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of the prophet Baruch, chapter 1, verse 15, through to chapter 2, verse 10. And you shall say, The Lord our God is in the right, for there is an open shame on us today, 
on the people of Judah, on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and on our kings, our rulers, our princes, our prophets, and our ancestors, because we have sinned before the Lord. We have disobeyed him, and have not heeded the voice of the Lord our God, to walk in the statutes of the law that he has set before us. From the time when the Lord brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until today, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and we have, not be, and we have been de uh, negligent in not heeding his voice. So to this day there has clung to us the calamities and the curse that the Lord declared through his servant Moses at the time when he brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt to give to us a land flowing with milk and honey. We did not listen to the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent to us. For all of us following the intent of our own wicked hearts by serving other gods and doing what is evil in the sight of the Lord our God. So the Lord carried out the threat he spoke against us, against our judges who ruled Israel, and against our kings and our rulers and the peoples of Israel and Judah. Under the whole heaven there has not been done uh, the, uh, the like of what has been done in Jerusalem. It accords with the threats that were written in the law of Moses. Some of us ate the flesh of their sons and others the flesh of their daughters. He made them subject to all the kingdoms around us, to be an object of scorn and dissolution uh, among the surrounding peoples where the Lord has scattered them. They were brought down and were not raised up, because our nation sinned against the Lord our God in not heeding his voice. The Lord our God is in the right, but there is an open shame on us and our ancestors this very day. All those calamities for with which the Lord threatened us has, have come upon us, yet we have not entreated the favour of the Lord by turning away, each of us from the, from the thoughts of our wicked hearts. And the Lord has kept the calamities ready, and the Lord has brought them upon us, for the Lord is, is just in all the works that he has commanded us to do. Yet we have not uh, obeyed his voice to walk in the statutes of the Lord that he has set before us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your wall salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendor. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Our bed. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Our New Testament reads the continuation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire labourers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the labourers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When they went out at about nine o'clock, he saw, so when he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock he did the same, and at about five o'clock he went out and found others still sta standing around. And he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to the manager, Call the labourers and give them their pay, beginning with the last, then go to the first. When those uh, hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more. But each of them also received the daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour. And you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, am I, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I chose to give to the last the same as I gave to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare your glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that lies ahead of us. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over us, that you would help us, strengthen us, comfort and keep us. Help us to do what is right by you. Help us to follow the path that you would set before us. Help us to show your love in all we do and say and think. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for all who are sick at this time. We pray for those who are in need of long-term care, who are suffering with long COVID, for those who are hospitalised. We pray for all who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are struggling this winter time. We pray for those who are struggling to keep their homes warm, to keep food on the table. We pray for those who are in need of the food bank. We pray for those who have overstretched themselves to try and make it a good Christmas. For those who have felt the pressures of commercialization. Help us, Lord, to be generous in sharing what we have. Help us to know that you have made us all your children. Help us to be one big family. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Lord, we pray for all places of violence and all places of conflict. We pray for those who are the victims of domestic violence. We pray for those who are living in war zones, for those who have had to flee their homes to find sanctuary. We pray for those living in refugee camps, and for those who are in uh, who are making dangerous crossings to seek asylum. Help us, Lord, to show kindness and generosity to those who are in need. Help us not to give in to fear but to show kindness and willingness to help. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Lord, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna, Gillian, and Brian. We pray too for those who are known to you alone, Lord. Lord. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives. We pray for those who recently lost their lives. We pray especially by name for Peter, Matthew and Vivian. We pray for all who are preparing for funerals, for all who carry the scars of loss and for all who grieve. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercy grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me this evening at 5 p.m. for evening prayer. And uh, a reminder that on Sunday at 8 a.m. we'll have a BCP Holy Communion at St. Mary's. At 9.30 we'll have the main Eucharist at St. Mary's, which will also be streamed online. And at 11 o'clock we'll have the Eucharist at St. Thomas's. So please do join us for whichever one you can. But until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and have a very good day.